Hey guys, what is going on? It is RC Knockout and I am back with another video. Now if you are new to my channel, my name is Nolan. In today's video, I have got my actual SAX-10 II out with me. Now as you can see, I've got a different body mounted up. This is an old body I had sitting around from my Axial SAX-10 version 1. I went ahead and I mounted it up on here. It looks very similar to the red version 2 body, but this one doesn't have like a full top. It's just like a cage. Now what I'm doing today is actually kind of cool. I've always wondered how well would short course tires do on a crawler. So these are not regular crawler tires. These are actually tires I took off my Trexxas slash 4x4. They are 2.2 inch Proline trencher tires. Um, and obviously these are not going to have much give over rock. Uh, they're a little bit smaller than regular crawler tires as well. But I just thought, why not go ahead and give it a try? So I'm actually at a park that has got a lot of caves, a lot of rocky trails. We're going to go ahead and hook up a 3-cell LiPo um, and uh, get out on the trail and see if this thing does any good. It's probably going to do worse than with, with crawler tires, but it's just something that I've wanted to do for a while. So I thought, why not go ahead and mount them up? Uh, if you haven't seen this one, uh, this one's running a Tekken system. This one is running a Tekken FXR, very, very small ESC. I have that combined with a 55 turn Tekken uh, motor. It is brushed. It does have hot racing piggyback shocks, uh, steel gears inside the transmission, and a very, very expensive Savox waterproof servo. Uh, so let me go ahead, get the three cell installed, and I'll get out on the rocks and see how these 2.2 inch trenchers do. All right, guys, time to rock and roll. Here we go. One thing I noticed is look at how that tire skips. There's like, um, I think that's called like tire scrubbing because there's so much grip and these are locked diffs. Look at how the thing just doesn't really want to turn. It's definitely not meant to run these kind of tires, but we're doing it anyway. So this thing's so slow, I'm actually gonna carry it down to the rock and then I'm gonna get started uh, filming. So I'll be back with you guys when I find some rock to climb on. All right, here we go with the short course tires. Slow and steady wins the race, they say. Yeah, right there, that's not too bad at traction. There we go. They're not doing as bad as I thought. Honestly, I thought they'd do way worse. I'm gonna try not to fall because it's getting very steep right along here. This is honestly impressive. Give this a thumbs up if you're impressed. Searching for the traction and got it. Sorry about that little chirping. I think it's, it's coming from my servo. All right, let me get alongside of it. I mean, they're obviously they're not conforming. So that, that's the biggest issue is they're not conforming to wrap around stuff the way that a crawler tire would. But I mean, if you can bump your way up stuff, it can still make it up some pretty gnarly stuff. So far, I'm very impressed. Thought it would do worse than this. The unfortunate thing is this thing is geared very, very low, like extremely low, way too low. This is a three cell pack and this thing has no speed whatsoever. Tops out at like three. So there's no wheel speed to get up it. That's just not an option. Yeah, I think that's it. It's just not gonna happen today on that one. This might be doable. Actually, let's go up on the high side over here. Come on. Who would have thought these would work as well as they're working? So far, the only issue is just that they don't conform to the rock at all. 
This might be kind of challenging because right here I think it would be helpful to have these tires conforming a little bit, especially since there's like a two step up right here. Wow. Like you see, it's just, it can, it can get grip. I am thoroughly impressed with this. Never would have thought with slash 4x4 tires, we'd be able to climb up stuff like this. That's top speed right there on the 3S pack, so that's pretty weak. Really need to be geared up quite a bit more than this. Hopefully that servo noise isn't annoying you as much as it's annoying me. It's really kind of bugging me. Ooh, and tumble. Oh, this would be a fun climb too. Maybe I'll go down this and back up it because this might be an ideal climb for this machine considering there's a lot of like dirt on this and I think these trenchers are gonna do a lot better on the dirt. But we might not have enough wheel speed. The issue is, you know, with mud tires like this, I don't know if you call these mud tires, but they're trenchers, they're supposed to dig in. You need the wheel speed to clean out the lugs. And the issue with this top yacht at that, three, two or three mile an hour, there's just not enough wheel speed to clean out the lugs. Steering on this is pretty amazing too for having locked diffs. This thing has like 45 degree steering. This is gonna be tough right here. The dismount on this, we did it. All right, I just wanna go down to the bottom here, turn around and go back up this. Yeah, this is a pretty nasty climb. All right guys, can we make it up this? We shall see. Started off on, on a good foot. Up the loose leaf litter. I think here we're gonna go to all the way to the right. We got a few roots in here. Roots are notoriously difficult for tires to get a grip on. Now turn. Come on, so close to pulling itself up that. Come on, we are so close. Come on, look at those tires dig. Wow, that is impressive. Like here's where I thought that they'd have issues, you know, not being able to conform to the rock. There's a fairly steep rock face. Here we go, momentum and made it. And we are pinned, underwhelming. Come on, come on, I'm turning, turning uphill right there. So close. Okay, we're just gonna turn here. I don't think we're gonna be able to get there, I, I, every single time I go in reverse, it's like I lose my forward. I gotta wait for it to come back. My forward throttle. Let me know in the comments if you're familiar with Tikan ESCs. What do you think this is? Is it just something improper? There, I have it back again. Is something just improperly set, or why is it cutting out like that? It's just my forward, I still have reverse. There we go. Now right up through here. It's gonna be tough, there's a little bit of a root. Did it. Ooh, I'm not in the best spot. Wow! Did not expect it to pull its way up that. Another root section. I'm almost falling. Now, as soon as I go in reverse, I, use, I lose forward gear. I must have something set wrong on my ESC. I had the same issue the last time I ran this when I was in Colorado. I think that's the last time I ran this machine. And um, for whatever reason, when I go forward and then go into reverse, then I try to go forward again, I have to wait like 10 seconds at least for the forward gear to come back. Forward throttle, I should say. Come on. Come on. Yes! Roots again. I don't think we're going to make it. I think these roots are too big. Should we venture over this way a little bit? This might be the end of our 
trek right through here. This is gonna be too steep. I'm gonna have to go all the way over here. Ooh, tumble, tumble, tumble. Let's try that again. There's like a two step right here. You can't see it's covered up in leaf litter. We're on almost. Wow, I really did not expect to make it up that. These tires are impressing me a lot. I mean, this still wouldn't be something I'd run. It doesn't quite look right for a crawler. Almost getting grip. Work the steering back and forth. There. Oh no, need to turn uphill right here. Lost our forward throttle again. Wait for it to come back. All right, got throttle back. Try this again. Turn uphill. Come on, turn back. Yes, yes, come on. So close to getting grip. I don't want to go in reverse again. Right there, right there, we got it. I think this is gonna to be too steep and too filled with leaf litter. Yeah, and all the rest of this is just too steep. So since we're running into some technical difficulties, this might be a good place to go ahead and wrap up this video. Nonetheless, if you did enjoy this quick little test, go ahead, hit that thumbs up button, make sure to subscribe, hit that notification bell so you'll be notified whenever I come out with new videos. And I look forward to seeing you guys in the next one. Later.